Like, they literally, they announced the hotfix on Twitter, and they were like, live. Boom. Here you go. Have fun. Have fun with this fantastic new meta. Hey guys, if you're looking for tournaments, learning calls, and a best of three ban helper, check out Mastering Runeterra in the link below, and you can use coupon code SNUI for 10% off of subscriptions. Champion Strength, gone. Reliquary, gone. Cultist Dex, gone. Reduced to Atoms. Braum dying to Quietus ain't honestly too bad, Galio Hever. How is it not that bad? You're paying four mana, you're playing a trash region, and you're losing one of your champions for to a one mana spell. That's about as bad as it gets. That's a horrible deal. That's the worst trade deal in trade deal history. Get in there. You want to block this? Because I'm, I'm going to block your 2-1 anyway. Now you're going to play your fearsome next turn. And it's actually a reason why I shouldn't have attacked at all. Because now I'm taking 4 damage instead of 3. I literally called it word for word, and that makes me sad. Allow me. All right, well, <laughs> this thing's gonna kill us. A tune, the blooming cultist, the elusive one, had a tune. What an interesting little pass there. Okay, yeah, there, there's gonna be a fearsome blocker from the portal, don't you worry. Guaranteed. It's coming. There is so much to see. Where do I start? At the beginning of Oh found an answer. God bless the balance team. I know, right? It's actually so gorgeous. It's so freaking beautiful what they've done on this day. I hecking love the balance team. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Yeah, we're kind of wide. How many portals we got? Two. Okay. Uh, maybe we just... Wait, can we level Nora? Nora is at two? Two. Yeah, we can level Nora here, right? This is actually really good. We're, we're gonna level Nora. Oh, levels. Okay. So we play these two? Are we, are we dead, though? Taking that much damage from the Fearsome was kind of bad. Alright, something just fell. Okay. Hopefully we're not dead. That's Loki a high roll. Okay, Nora's leveled. Portals, portals, up and down and all around. Yeah, the the reckoners were were a pretty big help for opponents. Let the bloodshed begin. Every fighter falls. Okay. Uh, winnable. Yeah, we're at five. Probably not winnable, actually. Likely to not be that winnable. Okay. Two portals. Uh, here's two more. Nora's leveled, so this this will be big. Well, I'm not complaining. All right. Cool. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> um Okay. That nah, we're still pretty dead, huh? Katarina rally and all. Whoa! Hold on a second. 
Wait. Wait a second. That, okay, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Man, this Nora champion, kind of good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay, wait. Seven. Twelve. Fifteen. Eighteen. We actually had eighteen damage. We actually just had lethal if we didn't even take the scout attack. I actually should. I, I should have just full attacked. I was, I was like scared of Katarina coming down and them just stealing a million more life with Gwen. But I think they actually, I mean, you can't blame them. If you're playing like the best deck from Worlds and you're losing to a bunch of Poros and Yordles, I don't know. I'd probably be the heck out of there too. Alt F4. <laughs> yeah. Smart. One game away from Diamond, I come back from dinner. <laughs> LOR needs an update. Acolytes, the deck I climbed from Silver to Diamond, got hot fixed. That time, oh, that, that's rough, dude. That's rough. Oh. All right, opponent is actually just fuming. Okay, that's pretty good, too. That would have been good. <laughs> Archers, think of the three ones. actually just left when they saw that Genevieve pop from the portal. <laughs> I mean, what a good play, though. Dude, that new Poro spell, that new Poro spell that just gives you three random ones in the deck, just turbo levels Nora. It's actually just dumb. The thing is, they had this whole Bard portals, Nora portal thing, and it was really cute because, yeah, it's fun, right? You just see a bunch of stuff pop out of portals, but there wasn't really any synergy. There were some synergies, like the the, the new two uh, mana burst spell, that gave you a por or a chime on top and a portal or something. But okay. What is the unforgiving nerf? Just use harsh winds. Then you're you're completely misunderstanding what these cards, uh, what the difference is between these cards. The problem, like, Harsh Winds at 5 mana is a great card. It's good. If I had the choice to play that in a bunch of decks, I would. I absolutely would. It's that good. The problem is, it's a Freljord card. And that is just a Garbo region. Cultist is not Freljord. And they get access to a Freeze in a mid-range deck. It's it's kind of dumb that they that they get access to a frostbite and show that frostbites can actually be good if you're, you know, <laughs> not playing it with a bad region. Fro like, yeah, Frogger is just so bad. Okay, I have the Jin. I kind of want to block, but also I kind of don't. Oh, uh, I don't know. All right, sure. At least we have the signpost. There are two portals in there. Unforgiving Colt still gets past spell should go to all stars like Panvera. That is true. Does G and any deck still run decimate? Some of them do, not all. Blocker. Oh, okay. And just like that, we're five white. Oh yeah, that's true. The fact that Unforgiven Colt can target the same unit twice uh, does really help for some strategies. Absolutely. Any levels. This gets regen, right? Not life steal. It's the reason you'd use it over hard wind. Yeah, but but I mean, if you're in Freljord, you have, I was going to say, you have pretty decent ways of popping Spell Shield in like Troll Chan and stuff, but that's about it, really. Can I have permission to post a deck code? It's a super Jangnor Black Flame deck that I think is very much your style. Uh, you can send it to me on Discord. Strike at their foundations. 
Interesting attack. So we just use the second Spirits Unleashed. What, you're fervoring me? We have one portal. Six. Yeah, Tibbers, uh, Tibbers is kind of bad. Tibbers demolishes us. Oh, that's sick. Step lively. <laughs> uh, maybe it's Jin, though. All right, cool. Bet. I'll take that. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Me hurt you. <laughs> Dude, this Nora champion. This Nora champion. Alright, see ya. There are three HP now. <laughs> There's the pickle. Hello. Is this Nora Udi or just Spirit Unleashed? This is Nora Poros. Are we. Yeah, the second Reddit post incoming? Oh, there's not a gen. Okay. Oh, we can't even can't even stop that. Right. Uh, I mean, sure, whatever. A ram time. There's not a chance I'm playing a ram against an aggro deck. I'm not even going to get a, to play a single champion if I do that. There we go. Oh! My favorites! No more moth for me. One more and we can build the blade. How about that? War Mason, reporting for duty. Okay, but with this dead, uh, wait, do we lose two? No, we don't lose two fervor. I think we just win next turn. Because we have the signpost. This is two. We take two damage here. Possible it would have been bad if they had a um, another one drop. Approach, savage. Well, I hope this works. Yeah, Fervor is actually lethal, you're right. Because I deal one to myself. I'm an idiot. I, uh, <laughs> for some reason, it just completely went past me that I, I hit myself with that. Finally, some know what rune weaving is. Know what rune weaving is. There you go. No more moth for you. Either you do it or an auction girl, it didn't matter. That's true, actually, yeah. It was one damage either. Yeah, but if it's an auction girl, then it would have been better to keep the puzzling signpost for the fervor. Elusive win? I didn't choose to get elusive on any of these. Did we just make the third player leave the game? <laughs> Wait, uh, Nora Poro is actually just a real deck. This is the third player we, uh, uh, we get to uninstall the game. Can't believe I've watched 70 hours on this elusive abuser channel. Hey, don't you worry. There's going to be 70 more hours of elusive abuse. How do you think I get to master every season? Why isn't Runeweaver synergistic with Rise? Yeah, these are the wrong runes. These are not the runes Rise is looking for. Aloof over Braum. I'm actually, I put in Aloof <laughs> to deal with World Ender stuff. But that just got nerfed, huh? First Acolytes, now Nora Poros. He can't keep getting away with ruining the meta. Just wait until I low roll one of the portals. Now we can keep the poking. Wait, Trailyord. Be softy. Thank you for the six months. Guess I gotta leave stream to not snipe. Oh, we're playing against each other. Hey, good luck. GL. Wait. This is a Poro deck? Huh? 
the hotfix is live. Yes, it's fantastic. Man, I love Runeterra, guys. I love this game. Man, hotfix going live is just so incredible. They do care about the game. It's exactly the same as last time. Interesting hand. Uh huh. What? What? Last time was the Zirella. Uh, they did it last year with uh, Cannon when Ezreal Cannon and Yordles were really good. Yordle Swarm. You could type exclamation mark hot fix to get the link. But they remove a tune because it was beyond frustrating to play against. I'm very happy. I think that was actually a really, really clever nerf. Very happy with him. Huh? Did we just... Wait, you're wrapping into more three mana cards? Yeah, I guess I'm confused. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Uh, this Pouty Poor card so far has been pretty bad, by the way. I don't know if I like keeping that one. It's super hard to activate it. Like, we have three spirits unleashed. We have three Poro snacks, but it's still like, we, we've never actually seen a Pouty Poro get empowered. CS ramp. Champion strength ramp, you think so? Um, uh, yeah, actually, you're probably right. Yeah, that makes sense. That kind of makes sense, actually. These these are gonna do a ton of damage. Wait. Okay, so next turn three. Next turn they have nine mana, so they can't do it next turn. Does that mean we die? Oh, I guess we're dead then, huh? All right. Yeah, they have nine mana. Oh, they have ten mana even. I mean, they didn't have it before, so there there is a chance. Two challengers. I'm down to take six here, just to not die. Thoughts on the balance patch? 10 out of 10. Okay, 9 out of 10 because they missed the bar. Hotfix are great since I joined back when Poppy Zed was the best deck and we had to deal with that deck being good for three plus months. Hey, don't you love Elusive Rally? Man, Elusive Rally is my favorite thing. It was actually a thing for a good week when the expansion hit. I, I am grateful. I am grateful because I covered the World Championship on stream. We had a little watch party together here. And instead of playing the game, I just straight up sat here and we watched we watched games together. We watched extremely high quality games, extremely high quality coverage, extremely based casters, and it was just such a good time. What is this deck? So instead of playing, we were just we were just together. We were just chilling. And now the meta settled down. Things got a little bit frustrating. And I start playing the game again. They're like, hey, you know, you know what? Sunny is back enjoying Runeterra. Let's hit him with a quick hotfix. Is that champion strength gone? Yeah, unlucky, dude. Unlucky. But that's what you get. Honestly, deserved. Try again. If I'm gonna lose because of the Atun removed from Coltus, I'm gonna be mad. Riot has made the decision to balance the deck. They made the decision to nerve an aspect of the deck that was frustrating and too powerful. We should be grateful. When you think about Project L, I can't wait to try it. I'm not much of a fighting game player, but I'm excited to give it a shot. It was super great. It, like, not only was it very powerful, it's also elusive. Like, getting access to elusive in a mid-range deck is is kind of crazy that's the thing with with cultists right they were kind of just like they, they were good at everything they had a really good freeze with unforgiving they had a tune plus elusives scout um they had the uh the predict cultist to give the deck consistency all the darken and cultist champions or the darken yeah, all the darken champion with the darken origin and the cultist origin drew themselves to give the deck even more consistency it was all just uh, really, really, really powerful. Okay, can you not? Okay, whatever. Dude. That's my that's my pouty poro though. 
Momentous choice, another very, very good one. Yeah, giving a mid-range deck just access to the best mid-range spell protection. Yeah, it all came together quite nicely for them. I heard the war song in the waves. First spell shield, yeah, it was just all around very good. Oh. Oh. Hello. Getting X in mid range deck is quite strong. I feel like I was pretty specific about what the mid range deck got. I mean, it, it's it's more like, okay, no, I know. I, I said that about a lot of different things in the mid-range deck, right? Usually, the mid-range deck gets access to one or two of those tools, and Coltis got access to all of it. Like, if you if you, if you you have a scout unit that gets even more powerful when you put a weapon on it, uh, why, why is it always, why is it also giving a freeze? Why is it also giving momentous choice? An, an elusive, right? Fuck! <laughs> Respectable. All right, team. Yeah, what team? What team, Poppy? <laughs> oh, and a shrimp. Elusive again. Easy. They drew one champion strength to win the game, and we just instantly aloofed it. That's why. That's why aloof was in this deck. For the World Ender and for Champion's Rank. But both got nerfed. What do we get? Okay. Sure. This way. Go. GG. GG. Nice Udir. <laughs> yeah, Poppy Z was dumb. I just don't like Elusive Rally decks. There are a couple of decks that when they're very good in the meta, makes the meta extremely frustrating to play. And one of them is Elusive Rally. Just like Elusive units with a very powerful Demacia spell. Uh, Demacia challengers, protection. It just sucks to play against, right? Like uh, Demacia decks are one thing, like scouts is one thing. But when they have access to Elusives that can rally, it's very frustrating. Uh, elusive themselves, like a, a, a good elusive deck like Nami Zoe back in the day, uh, Timo Zoe recently, also just really dumb to play against. Another very specific thing is an overabundance of RNG, like back Alibara and Seraphine. Um, there was another one. I was gonna say aggro, but I personally don't really care much about aggro, but when aggro is overtuned, you can really feel it. Like when pirates had Riptide Sermon. And I have not gave words. Yeah, I, I only, oh, and OT, that's the one I forgot, OTK decks. When, okay, so it's Elusive Rally, Overabundance of RNG in a deck like Seraphine Bar, and OTKs. Namely, Ezreal. Ezreal is, is the, the biggest offender there. Infinite decks, yeah, I would say Infinite decks, but uh, Infinite is like one flavor, and that's been Akshan, and kind of Avatar, but Avatar can actually beat you. So I, I don't really want to put that in like the same category because it's never been that good. Also, Lee Sin, yeah, Lee Sin too. Lee Sin is really specific though. Like the Lee Sin deck wants to play in a very specific way. Ezreal does too, but generally, um, okay, you have to look at it this way, right? Lee Sin needs another region to be good for Lee Sin to be good because Ionia doesn't have access to the things that allow Lee Sin to OTK. Lee Sin in Ionia doesn't have access to Overwhelm, for example. Ezreal is in PSE. Ezreal, when paired with another like controly champion or just any deck that can shoot enough times, becomes really frustrating because it's so flexible. See what it does? Now he does. Yeah, with the um, with the weapons, we kind of saw Lee Sin make a bit of a comeback, but that's more or less calmed down. Oh boy. 
My sun disc got aftershock by Seraph player. I guess some people just don't doesn't cool. Agreed. Some people just doesn't cool. <sighs> some people are just like that. There's nothing you can do about it. If we play this, we could still spirits on leash next turn. We saw that Sundisk is overrated at world. How dare you? I actually loved seeing the Sundisk deck. Okay, we need a Poros next. And then from that point onwards, all our Poros will be elusive blockers. We have one elusive blocker now. Uh, fearsome. God, I'm messing up my keyword today. I mean, fearsome. We have a fearsome blocker. Oh, you mean the Sun Disc Landmark itself? Yeah, true, true, true. That's actually very true. Okay, opponent has two of the Rally Quarries in the top of their deck. Got it. We desperately need a Poro Snacks. Wait, did opponent draw all three of them? I actually think our opponent drew all three of them. Because the last one didn't say created by Acolyte's Reliquary. Okay, so... They're gonna go big really fast, but it shouldn't matter that much. I just can't wait! Here we go! Another day! Another explosion! There we go. Alright, we won. GG. Yeah, now, with this, now we just have fearsome blockers. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I should have played that. Because I'm not sure if they're attacking. Yeah, I should just play one of them. Eh, it doesn't matter. We do have infinite blockers here, but... Uh, yeah, Ziggs is still Ziggs. You know? It could be right the arcane though. I'm mostly worried about the Zix burn. We're, it's really good that they're so low on HP. Otherwise, I'd be quite terrified. Killing Zix is huge here because now we can play the Poro stories and level Nora. And we, we just also have infinite blockers for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're chilling. Okay, so they probably have one more, but we can get three blockers here. Oh, this this book, this little book for Poros. The Poro stories are so freaking good. Look at that. Hello? Oh my god. It, it's it's 50% on Nora's level up. Two mana draw four, yeah. Basically. LeCamp, thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. My Poro army! Get him. And we have three portals. That's pretty good, Chad. That's pretty decent. Sure, you have more? Sure, whatever, dude. Here we go. Portals. Exactly. I'm doing it. Maximum value! Actually, we have one that can't block. There's no way they can play two more, right? 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 One more. Okay. Yeah, we'll... Do we block with Nora then? I guess we do. Yeah, we have to block with Nora. Okay. Sure. Are you lost? Whatever, man. No, this is not a Poro. And it kind of sucks. I wish this was a portal. Uh, Poro. Okay. 
fine. We have uh, nine portals here. Uh, okay, let's more portals. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Portal? No portal. Elusive four? Oh, we have lethal now, no matter what, right? Yeah, we have lethal. <laughs> they can't do anything here. It's lethal. Because they they're forced to block, which means that this will just kill them. All right, GG. <laughs> that was a good pull here. The Phantom Praxer, dude. Pretty good. Wait, what? Wasn't that? Okay. Pretty sure they're still dead, though. This deals one. This deals one. Mm, they block this. Two. Nah, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even know why the hell I'm counting. They, they really had to kill this, the one four. Yeah, they, <laughs> that was the bad target. The only bad target for Ride of Arcane. Nerf deck. I thought the dog was coming. The dog. What the dog do? I don't have a dog. My cat is sleeping on the bed, though. But I can't move my camera, sadly. Should I wake my cat up? All right. Type one if you want me to wake up my cat and show him to the camera. I will do it. All right, I, I, I would have done it at, at, at one. One. No? All right. I'll do it and I'll give him some treats for it. How about that? Let him sleep. Okay, there... No, okay, okay, fine. There's actually too many twos. I, I can't do that. I can't do that. I will accept the treat. To shake the treat. Right, I will actually give him some treats. Wait. I'll play my card and I will give some treats. And he's away. Solari, deluded fools. He is inspecting the treats. He's looking around. And he's eating the treats. Okay. <laughs> Stand with me. He's nom nomming. God, I love that emo. I have four cats. Streets always do the job. Okay. I I, I, I didn't know that about you, Remy. I didn't know you had four ca cats. That made me like you even more, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. I don't like... Okay, how good is this Pouty Poro? I actually think it's not that good. If, I feel like it's done nothing for us at all. It takes way too long to stack up, no? Okay, this might actually be a bit of a disaster game. The yes, yours. Okay. You could have discarded skin, I know. But I want to discard their Aatrox much more than that. Don't care about Kane that If they play Aatrox next turn, I think that's just pretty good for us. Yeah, this is Pora Nora. Pora. Pora Noro. Pora. Pora. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we just discard this, but they just get it back. It doesn't really matter. I just need to go wide. Uh-huh. That's fine. What have Poros done to you? Poronora. Poronora. I failed you, said. We'll find you some huh. Handles full. Yeah. 
Why does uh, why does this Aatrox character just heal for two? It's kind of strong, no? God damn, we deal four damage with the swing. I. Okay, we can probably kill the Aatrox then. Yeah, we do it now before they use the gem. It might survive though. Six mana. Uh, so, opponent might try to like equip something here and then World Ender, which we can try to stop with a loop. Yeah. So they want a World Ender here, so we're gonna discard it. Yay! But our stuff did it. Easy. Denied. <laughs> Denied, son. You are the tool. I am the weapon. It's still so hard to get through, though. God damn. Yes. Be still. You've gone and spoke them. Ah, uh, this Aatrox heal is so hard to deal with. Wait, Nora's leveled, right? No, it's not. We draw them. Hmm. Four mana. I don't think we can get through that. I think we just lost. Yeah, as soon as they strike, they get it back, so... <laughs> I, I don't know, Aatrox healed for like 8 health or something. So there, there's just actually nothing we can do. Huh. Well, I guess that could be worse. It's so close. We're one off. We're one off with these two and this. In that case, we have to just do this, right? One off. Oh, come on, dude. Hello? What the hell are these decks? Yeah, they, they healed for a million with Aatrox. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty screwed. I will not <laughs> yield. All right, let's see. Maybe if we just go like super wide, we can. Why is that a Kane voice line for Ross? The dark and rise, the shadows yield. All of Rune Terra will yield before my blade. Okay, we survive next turn. There's a chance. They're going for it now. One mana. I mean, this deck should be worse. They did nerf some stuff about it, but uh, yeah, that's still pretty good. Okay, maybe they don't open attack, and then we can collect the collection, and they'll just draw like a million streams. Are we dead though? I don't think we're, I don't think we're dead. Uh, let's put it here. Just have high health for their overwhelms. Okay, let's try. Snacks. Snacks is also pretty good action. Hey, you're missing one. Life too. Yeah, we'll do it now. Because they might draw some streams from that. No rise buffs. I'm I'm Loki. Like I don't even mind that there's no rise buffs. Elusive. So they. What the hell? Hello, Shark Chariot. What's happening? He is Doom. Oh, that, that's that's Loki. Like pretty good for us. Okay, I mean that that totally works. No. Okay. What? Well. 
here, zero deck. <laughs> Get out skilled! Darkens! Move! Roll over to Poros! What? Get out of the way, dude! Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, Time Bomb Printer, One, Two, Pop! Meta Shifter, Not a Quitter, Fighting for LPP, Snoo!